Welcome to the very first video of Little Hope. This is my first time ever playing this game. Hopefully it's going to be a great one because I'm such a big fan of all their games they made in the past. Hopefully you guys do enjoy this. If you do, please make sure to leave a like. It does help the channel a lot. Subscribe if you are new and let's get into it. I'm so excited to play this game. Oh my goodness. I've seen so many ads about this a long time ago. His ear is burned off. Ugh. Guess that's a car accident, maybe? Thanks for pulling over. Sure. Something wrong? We got a problem up ahead. A big accident. We've had to close the road. All right. We're diverting all traffic through Little Hope. You okay, buddy? You seem a little confused. Yeah, I'm fine. I just want to get these folks to where they need to be. I doubt a short delay will trouble them too much. Head up the East Road. Takes you straight through Little Hope. Adds almost no time to your journey. So the police officer is the pretty much the main character in... House of Ashes. He's the leader. I forgot his name. Eric, I think? <laughs> oh, yes. oh. You rub that chip any harder, it'll wear away to nothing. Right. How long have you been sober? A few days shy of three months. Impressive. I heard the first 90 days are the toughest and roughest. I know it doesn't add up, but I get something from holding on to this. We're going the wrong way. It's fine, just a quick detour. It's not fine. Calm down. It's all okay. Oh, hey. please, John, could you not patronize me? Could you keep it down, please? It is quite the little hope, wasn't it? Stop it, James. You know I hate it when you don't take the things I say seriously. Come on, sweetheart, I do. I just had a rough day today. Can you believe they are at each other again? I can. You're drunk! 
What a surprise. I just caught the game with the guys, honey. That's it. That's not it. Never is. There's talk. Some of us may be losing our jobs. The factory... You've been saying that for years. I'm more worried about Megan. What's wrong with Megan? She looks OK to me. Everything looks OK after 10 beers. Reverend Carson held her back after prayers today. That's four weeks running. She's not right. It's serious, James. You worry too much about that kid. I can't deal with this right now. Another surprise. You can't deal with anything. When would be the right time? You're making a mountain out of a molehill. Getting yourself worked up for nothing. For nothing? Single-handedly keeping our family together Sam is far from nothing in my book. I could use a little help. Maybe if we'd had kids of our own, none of this would be happening. That's a real low blow. Don't you get how tough You're this is You're not the only me? one feels pressure. The factory situation is serious, Anne. Real serious. Not right now. Not tonight. No way. Tanya's late. She always is these days. Is that so? She's always been late. At least one of us is out having a good time. Give her a break. It's him I'm worried about. That guy's no good for her. All that new age bullshit. Reminds me of some creepy cult. <clears throat> he came in last week. We shot the breeze a little bit. I like him. That one's a classic. Legendary vinyl. Quit pawing at it, will ya? <clears throat> Hey, Bigfoot, mind the goddamn vinyl, will ya? There's no need to be so tough on her. It was an accident. Everything Megan does is an accident. <laughs> I love how they made these people look like kids. And then they are in the army in the next game. Well, not him, but the one of the dog hair. I'm going to start climbing through the window unless that door gets fixed. How's things? Let me guess. He's been pumping iron again. They've been at each other's throats since dad got home. What's it about this time? Respectful. Dad's been drinking. Who could have guessed it? They're always fighting these days, getting predictable, like a record that keeps playing over and over. Dennis, for the 10 million time, will you shift that shit of yours up into the attic? Hey, some respect. This is a valuable, rare, and sought-after collection. <laughs> I think she was a marine sergeant of past life. What's curled up his ass? Being a jerk. Mm. Just Dennis doing what he's good at. Being really Dennis. What a surprise. Does she have some snot in her nose there? It's weird to have it in a game. Hey, Dennis. <sighs> hey! Not now, sis. I'm busy. <gasps> hey! Quit acting crazy! <sighs> oh. Jesus! You scared me, sweetheart. I heard you talking about me. Not now, Megan. I'd like to have a bath in peace. Take a break from this madhouse for a while. I think mom is like 10, maybe 15 years older than dad. And they have like seven kids. Me 
Maybe you should talk to mom and dad. It's not a great idea for me to get involved. You know what I'm like? I just upset someone. They sounded more serious than the usual bullshit. They were talking about Megan. She's done something bad. I can't say I'm surprised. There's definitely something off with Megan. I don't get why everyone keeps picking on her. Okay, Mr. Shining Knight in Armor. Where's the little princess anyway? Megan's gone upstairs. Maybe you could go check on her if you don't have other plans. I'll go find her. Okay, hold, yeah, use, yeah, I know how to do this. to be as quiet as possible so that we can do something here, I don't know. That went right between Cheever's legs when he was about six inches off the ice and Cheever started to go down. The right back. <clears throat> you need to keep an eye on your little sister. Mom is real worried about her. It's okay, Dad. Tanya's checking on her right now. You want to try raising a family like this? The devil himself would struggle with you guys. I think two kids is more than enough. Right? You just fell asleep instantly again? How the heck? Hey, Tanya. You up there? How's Megan doing? Don't know, haven't seen her yet. Keep it down, will ya? Trying to sleep here. Now you've done it, Sleeping Beauty wakes. Forget him, find Megan. Relax, I'm on it. He looks so old though, this Do kid. Fever. Quit yelling for a couple of minutes. House could use some quiet. Sure, no problem. Not another sound. Place is crazy enough without your two cents. It's all the noise about anyway. Just checking in with Tanya and Megan. <laughs> Good luck with that. Megan's a handful. I don't know what else we could do. So we just walk around, examine something. Shroud of Innocence. No clues found or anything like that. As always, guys, feel free to pause the video if you want to read the stuff on the right side that pops up. I'm just here for the horror entertainment. You know what I'm saying? But I will examine everything because we might get something. There's another door here. I don't live in a place where it's, like, very cold. Does this happen regularly? Where the doorknob just doesn't work? Because this is the only genre of games that I've seen it that does that, actually. Ooh, a few Fs there. Whose is this? It's Megan's. Oh. Where are you, goddammit? Anthony, I'm getting really pissed off! Anthony, I swear if you don't answer me! You could be right about my family. I think so too. Tanya! 
What's going on? That little brat locked me out. It's fucking freezing. Oh. I'll let you back in. Go easy on Megan. Hold on. Shit! Megan! You in there? The kitchen's on fire! Are you fucking serious? Megan! There's one dead. There's two dead. Help Tanya or help Megan? I will help Tanya, thank you. Climb down the pipe, uh, use the window. Are you crazy? What have I done? Uh, I was just oh. making coffee. Won't you 
I don't know if this cutscene is like 30 FPS or something. It looks so laggy. I don't think it's my PC though. Curator. Hello. And welcome. I don't believe that we've met before, have we? No what? matter. What? Welcome to my repository. I am the curator, the guardian of all these wonderful stories. And I have a very special tale for you to tell. Disconcerting, no? I'm sure there's nothing to worry about. This particular story isn't fully fleshed out. It's only part written, and the choices you make will complete it. The fire, no, there was nothing you could have done about that. What's happened has happened. Or has it? Anyway, look to the future, I say. Life's but a walking shadow, eh? You are about to enter a confusing, perhaps disturbing world. How disturbing might depend on what you choose to believe and how confusing on the path you choose to take. There are an infinite number of directions in which one could travel. We seldom have all the information that we'd like, but we have to choose our path nonetheless and hope that we get the clarity and the outcomes that we want. As in life, your decisions will matter. The choices you make will affect others. You've seen how the story starts, so much death. How many more deaths is entirely up to you. It depends on the decisions that you make. What are you, rational, emotional? Do you trust your head or your heart? There is no right answer. Sometimes one is best and sometimes the other. My advice for what it's worth is to thine own self be true. But uh, <laughs> I'm here simply to record what you do, not to help you. <clears throat> I'm not supposed to interfere, you see. Not my place, apparently. But I am 
apparently allowed to share wise words from great storytellers that have gone before, where I feel that that would be appropriate. Oh, one final thing before I let you go. There are pictures in Little Hope that will, if found, show you a vision of a possible future, something that may or may not happen. Use them. They might help you. You have a funeral to attend. Off you go. Have fun. Hmm. I do enjoy a good funeral. What funeral do I have to attend? It seems like everybody died. Right? Who is going to the funeral then? Obviously the family, but... We had Rambo running in, so I'm pretty sure he's dead also. Dude. Wait, 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 wait. We, we don't have subtitles. But we can take comfort from the knowledge that the family are together for eternity in God's loving embrace. Yo, he's still alive? Andrew, 18, college student, anxious. I didn't read the last one. <clears throat> Attend. Yo, he wasn't the... Oh, this is the doctor that was in the House of Ashes. Taylor, 22, college student. John Cena, 43, college professor. Where the hell's Daniel? I can't find him. I don't know. Ah! Instead of goofing around, you want to lend a hand here? This also looks like the father of him. Exactly the same person, most probably. How is he doing anyway? It doesn't look that serious. Could be concussed. Okay, professor. Or should I call you doctor now? Why don't you try calling for help? Maybe the cops, someone like that. I already tried once, but I'm on it. Hey, Andrew, buddy, how you doing? Where are we? What happened? Yeah, the bus crashed. We're okay, though, just shaking up. If you say so. I don't remember being in any crash. You're probably in shock. Maybe a mild concussion in there, too. Give yourself some time. Stay here. Don't move. How many was in this, uh... Fucking thing! Useless piece of crap! School bus. Dead. Okay, take it easy. We'll figure out what to do. Uh. Uh. That looks exactly like his brother, Daniel, 20... Uh, the guy that landed on the fence. Where's my phone? <sighs> Angela, 48. She a teacher? Hey, anyone up there? Hey, Daniel, that you? John, good to hear you. Daniel? Taylor, you okay? I'm good. We're fine too, thanks for asking. You okay down there? I'm all right, nothing I can't deal with. Hey, John, any idea what caused the crash? Not sure. 
Looked like the driver swerved to avoid something in the road. He down there, by the way? Nope. No sign of him. Weird. He isn't up here either. Can you get back up to us? Looks pretty steep. I see a trail down here I could try. Great. Take the trail. Should take you to the road. We can regroup there. That's a plan. See you soon. <coughs> oh. Hey, Taylor. Help me get Andrew up on his feet, will ya? Wait. I don't remember anything. Who are you? It's okay. You're concussed. I'm John, your college professor. <coughs> we were taking a bus on a field trip, but that didn't work out so well. Crash wasn't on the curriculum. <laughs> uh, we'll find the others, get some help. Think of it as a character building exercise. <sighs> Teamwork at its finest. I had this dream. It was so real. Flames all around us, it was grim. That bang on the head must have been a beauty. That trail the others are on will come out down the road. We'll meet them there. Why just, why do we leave the bus? Yeah. We should talk this through. Why leave the bus? Not like we have somewhere better to wait. No. We could be here all night. Our best move is to get to the others, then head towards town. See if we can find some help. You're wrong. We stay here, someone will come down this road sooner or later. What is your problem? Relax, will you? I'm just not a girl who likes walking in the dark. The driver's done what we should be doing. Gone into town for help. You're right. Let's go. I'm with you. I'm right? The quicker we get help, the quicker we can all go home. Stick close behind me. You're not my dad. <laughs> Can't believe the driver. Just taking off like that and ditching us? Maybe he didn't realize. Could just be in shock. We're his responsibility, his passengers. He can't just stroll off. Welcome to Little Hope. What is it saying at the bottom there? Abandon Hope? You know this place? Little Hope? No. I mean, I don't think so. You should both know Little Hope. Why should I have heard of this place? Seriously, this place is steeped in history. Fascinating stuff. H how do you know all this stuff anyway? <laughs> I'm a professional academic. I read books. Unlike some. <laughs> Easy, Einstein. I can match everything you got with just a smartphone. Well, your phone isn't so smart without a signal. My phone is smarter than you still without signal. I'm just saying. You know what I'm saying? Hey. <laughs> Depending on how much stuff you have stored in it. Good to see you two. Finally. Everything okay? Sure. We took the scenic route. You sure as hell took your own sweet time. I was getting worried. I bet you were. This gate is chained. We can't get through. Look around. See if there's anything we can use to break it. Think this'll do it? Ready? I'll push hard from my side. Ready. Three, two, one, push. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Great job, you two. What's the plan now? Head into town, see if we can get help. You know where town is? Sure, we're near Little Hope. Sounds like a fun place. Funnily enough, Little Hope does have an interesting and dark history. Can we get going without having a smart-ass lecture first? I'm starting not to like you or your attitude. Yo. We're not even started yet. 
You want a little more? Try to be civil. Cost nothing. That's rich, given how you badmouth Taylor on the way over. What did she say about me? You always get your boyfriend to stick up for you? Try doing it yourself sometime, dear. He's not my boyfriend, what? <laughs> I'm not gonna say anything. Well, that certainly shut you up. Quit it, will you? The last thing we need is you causing trouble. Keep out of our business, okay? We are wasting valuable time here. Can we please just keep moving? You think this is a solid plan, heading into town? As good as any. I went along with it before, but I'm not so sure now. So what do you want to do? How about you come with me back to the bus? Okay. No way, dude. I still think the smart move is for us all to stick together. You'll be glad yeah. we can stick together after we flag down a car and come rescue your ass. I think we need to stick together, that's for sure. Oh, there's some Silent Hill stuff right there. Oh my goodness. You get lost? No. We're back here? This doesn't add up. This is some very weird shit going on here. Spare us all. First he loses his pride, then he loses his way. What are you trying to say? That you've lost it. It's not possible. Look, I don't know what you're trying to prove here, but we've got better things to do. Daniel? Whoa. Hey, careful! Watch out! Quit fucking around and tell me what's going on here. The two of us will go together. This is getting ridiculous. Indulge me. What the heck, dude? What? what? I walked away from you! We're trapped here! There's no way out! I, I just don't understand! She's right. We walked dead straight going away from you. So, how'd we end up back here? Okay, let's try something. We'll all go together. We came from that direction. We must be able to go back that way. I want everyone to stay real close. No stragglers. You want to put us on a kid's line? Okay, okay, I'm coming. <laughs> what the heck, dude? We're back. I admit, that is a little odd. More than a little. See? What did I tell you? It's just like I've been saying, we are trapped! We can't leave here! Now okay, what can we do? Okay, calm down, breathe. There's a rational explanation for what's happening. Maybe we all died in the crash. Yeah, nice theory, but I'm pretty sure we're all still alive and kicking. Last I checked, you were schooling us on creative writing, not metaphysics. I know who I'd like to be kicking. This is all down to you, this pissy little field trip. Now we're stuck here in little no hope. That is way out of line. I had no way of knowing that damn bus would crash. You can't put that on me. Are you for fucking real? Watch your tone, will you? I am doing my best to understand this, just like you and the rest of us. I'm sorry. I don't get what's happening to us. I don't understand. It's like you said, we're trapped in a nightmare. It's okay. We're gonna be just fine. We'll figure a way out of this together. Someone else thinks they can do a better job? Step right up. Maybe it isn't real. We have to get out of here right I need to think straight. Now. Football coaching. Why the fuck? Can everyone just shut up? This isn't helping us find help or getting us out of here. It's right. Bitching at each other isn't getting us anywhere. We have to work together as a team. Thank you. Now let's be logical. The fog is between us and the bus. There is no fog between us and town, so let's head that way. I don't get how heading further away from the bus helps. There is nothing on the bus we can use to get help. 
In town, there will be people, a working phone, something. It pains me to admit, but he's right. There is nowhere else we can go except into that damn town. Sounds like a plan to me. You leaving me? Where are you going? Come on, let's go with them. Until we know what's up, we should stick together. Thank you. Splitting up is not an option. Stick close. Okay, run. Run, woman. <laughs> I say run. We might all be dead. You really think that's possible? I saw some cable show about how your brain keeps going for a while after you... You know. You die? Forget about it. What they said didn't really stack up. No, Black Kitty, don't cross the street. Maybe they won't ask for ID. Come here, old lady. Why are you just standing there? I'm not sure this is such a great idea. We should check it out. There could be a phone inside. I'll go in and take a look around. Go ahead. We'll be right behind you. Why aren't we going with those guys? Angela knows there's something between us. That's obvious. We're really going to get into this now? Like we've got no other bigger shit to deal with tonight? This is a big deal. For me, anyhow. I'm telling you, Angela is onto us. She knows. Probing. What did you two talk about? She was digging around like she always does. Let her imagine whatever she wants. Probably drives her crazy. <laughs> I'm not ready to go public about us yet. I will be soon, I promise. Anything I can do to help convince you I'm the right guy? I need to know 100% I can rely on you. That you'll never let me down. We should catch up with the others. Are we standing here all night or are we going inside? Is the kitty still here? That's not a kitty. Who <laughs> the the cake? Hi there. How you doing? Excuse me, but we're uh, looking for our bus driver. What? Have you seen him? <laughs> yeah, that's funny. What is? What's up with the fog outside? It's pretty weird. Yeah, it sure is a thick one tonight. So thick it's stopping us from leaving. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I know that feeling. You it's mean, not a feeling. I sorry for busting in like this. Uh, bus we were on crashed a little way back up the road there. We're still a little shaken up. We're still a lot shaken up. You certainly look shook up. I'm Vince. I need a mirror. Maybe there's one here not covered in 20 years. Of Sounds like you could use a drink. Better not, thanks. I need to keep a clear head. It's right there if you change your mind. Not for me. Come on. Not for me. Why are you even here? Little Hope sure isn't the town it used to be. He looked so sad when I said no for the drink. <laughs> what are you doing in here alone? I'm sure you have a Good reason to be here. Right? Yeah, I got my reasons for being here. There a phone in here? We can use a way of contacting the outside world. There's a phone. But it's been dead for years. You know, maybe there's still one working in town. What is this guy's problem? There's definitely something off about him. <laughs> 
Johnny's harmless. Just had one too many. Let's look around. There must be something here that can help us. See what you can dig up. Uh, he's in a world of his own. An old darts board. I was pretty good back in the day. Stay. Play a little, no problem. I'm gonna take a look around. <clears throat> you need an umbilical cord. <clears throat> At least I'm looking for a way out. What are you Just doing? Just a quick throw, and then we'll figure out how we're getting out of here. Try for a big double, or... Not my first time, Daniel. Shooting for double 20. Double 20? Okay, so you can play a little. Still got it. Now for triple 20. Triple 20. Well, almost an Olympic shot after the night we've had. They don't play darts in the Olympics. Maybe not in the Olympics, but it's still like a great sport. <laughs> that is one hell of a shot. <laughs> you did better than Taylor. Let's get back to why we came in here. What the heck? I was just stretching. Got anything else for us on Little Hope? Oh, booze gone in my head. You okay? I'm sure it's just one too many. We both had better days. Frustrated, disappointing. Both socks just say nothing. Little hope is all but gone now. Only thing here now is ghosts from the past. That's a weird ass looking lamp, dude. So again, guys, documents, feel free to read this if you want to. Looks like passwords. This place has some great history. Spurts or ghosts. If you're to read this. I vaguely remember what happened here. All the factories closed down. I can't believe it. These guys could be relatives. What the heck? Hey, this way. Let's get out of here and... You all hear that? I definitely heard something. Did... You hear that as well? Come on. Whatever it was, came from outside. You really think it's smart to go back outside? Well, there's nothing for us here. We need to move on. Best of luck. Hope you find what you're looking for. Is he gonna kill us with darts? Is his nickname Bullseye or something? It's coming from the town. Did the old fucker just lock us out? He was weird, that old guy. Sure was something off about him. 
I come to Creepy Central just to get a top up. What does that mean? Okay, now I'm playing this guy. Come on, old lady. I've seen in the intro how sh this old lady falls on a rock. And maybe, like, scat, like, breaks her skull or something. feeling about this. We'll figure it out. The way this fog just appears? It's not natural. What the heck is this? What the hell is this thing? Looks like some kind of effigy. A warning, perhaps. Or some other spiritual significance. Whatever it is, it gives me the creeps. I don't know. I'm kind of curious about it. I've heard more than enough, thank you. Yeah, I saw the little girl running in the background, right? I'm sorry, I didn't scare you, did I? I don't know which is scarier. Whatever this is, or your morbid interest in it. A lot of people still really believe in this kind of stuff. After tonight, I thought you might be joining them. Just because other people believe all sorts of garbage doesn't mean I'm about to. Guess you're right. Let's uh, catch up with the rest. I don't want to spend any more time with this disgusting thing. That was a weird neck shot that we got from him. To keep up. <laughs> did you pee in your pants a little bit there? Because I sure did. <laughs> Can you come over here? What's wrong? I just saw someone in the woods. I can't see anyone. Insist? I definitely saw someone. 100%. Sorry, I don't buy it. Nobody would be out here at this ungodly hour. Okay. We really should catch up with the others. You two. We need to stick close. What the hell? Did you hear that? What on earth is that? Okay, very good. We're freaked. Who's there? Whoever you are, this isn't funny at all. John, where are you? Daniel, Taylor? Come on, John, where are you? This isn't funny. <gasps> Little Gola was standing here again. Now the fog is here. No way, dude. Hey, wait for us! What is that? Hey. Come and check this out. What on earth is that? Not a clue. Your name, sir. Um, Andrew. Andrew. 
Rue? And your name, lady? Who the hell are you? Why are you dressed like that? I am called Mary. I fashioned her with my own hand. She looks just like the one beside you. Would you kindly come play with me? Come play. Come play with what me. What witch's trickery is this now, Mary? I have done nothing. Hold your tongue. I say you truly are, Mary. Reverend Carver's affection for you will be shaken loose when he learns of your infidelity with the devil. Someone else out here by the fire. What? I, I don't see any fire. I saw them too. Are you okay? Wait, what? How can you not have seen that? I couldn't see anything through this impossible, impenetrable fog. Well, go ahead. Tell them what we saw. A little girl appeared out of the fog, and then just like that, she was gone again. What is going on? Maybe the fog has got you confused. We're all stressed out. Stressed my ass. I saw a girl dancing right here, clear as day. I said her name was Mary. Looked exactly like the girl in my dream, but... She talked in this really weird accent. Was that even American? I'm not sure. I couldn't place her accent either. What have we gotten ourselves into? This kid, Mary, did she want to hurt you? Uh... She could have been... malicious, I guess? <sighs> You're burning up. Did that girl do something to you? We should all keep an eye on Andrew. I'm okay. The pain's going away now. Now what? Seems our only option is the road into town. You're kidding me. Got a better idea? Thought not. Bro, I think we just have to stay close to each other. Like, literally hold hands close. Don't be copyright music. Be kind to me, good sir. Well, that escalated rather quickly. Everything that one does or doesn't do in one's life will catch up with one eventually. Don't you think? Don't look at me. I can't help you. Remember? We sometimes congratulate ourselves on waking from a troubled dream. It may be so the moment after death. On my travels over many years, I've witnessed many things, seen and heard many beliefs, and there's usually some element of truth in each of them. These unfortunate folks seem to be dealing with forces as yet unexplained. I mean, sinister movements in the forest, spirits from the past, a little girl who may be in trouble. Or maybe she simply is trouble. Anyway, where are we? Angela isn't getting much tittle-tattle out of Taylor. <laughs> no kiss and tell. What about John? The figure of authority, perhaps. Or perhaps he represents something else. And then there's Andrew. Somewhat confused, I think. A bump to the head can do that. Let me reassure you. You help make some decisions that will be valued later on. And some that may turn out to be regrettable. That fellow in the bar, he was less than helpful, more than a little rude, if you ask me. Clearly something disturbing 
on his mind. Enough. There's something not quite right in Little Hope, and souls may be in peril. Off you go again. See if you can lift the fog. Find the bus driver. I would love to find the bus driver and slap him across the face and be like, yo, just ram the little girl instead of swerving, bro. Good news. <laughs> oh my goodness, bro. This game so far... Normally, this is, this is something I need to mention. Normally in the dark picture games, it starts off extremely slow. But this game, there's been already more horror at, you know, at episode one that has been in any other game that I've played of them. This is just fantastic so far. I, I, I don't know what you guys think, man. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Anyway, guys, this is where the part is going to end. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy this one. If you did, please make sure to leave a like. It does help the channel a lot. Subscribe if you are new. I'm looking forward to see you guys in the very next video. Love you guys. Take care. And as always, remember to twist some nips. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. Have a great time.